hello beautiful people how are you all doing today welcome back to my channel it's been a long while meeting you guys here sorry for not being puncher all this while but i'm back again for you guys now i am back bigger and better yeah? welcome to my channel this is sumkel again if you are here if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel then if you're returning subscribers you guys are welcome back please don't forget to give us a thumbs up share and like our video so that more people will see and benefit from what we do here now today we're going to be talking about staff management those in business both online and offline marketers staff management is one of the one of the key factors that many of us we don't even talk about it's one of the things that nobody is talking about is staff management you, you, you agree with me that this staff management, it can help and skyrocket your income to your business. This same staff management can also help and bring your business down to nothing. I know of someone that the business was doing well. They were doing like up to um, six, seven figures monthly. Then after employing staff, he, was, he, was, he wasn't opportune to get good staff though, not knowing or knowingly to him. So... After a month, the next month, he called me, he was complaining that he don't he can't he just don't understand what is happening to the business. So the business going from you know growing, it's just going down, down, down. That do I know that they, they manage now to even go six figures? This is something that they do easily before, six, seven figure, eight figure, you know, when he was even with few staff. He now decided to employ more hands so that the business can so that there will be more income the business start going down that is where staff management comes in it's a very very important part of our business but most of us we neglect that part except when the thing starts affecting the business and i had to give him and, and i told him see guy what will happen is that if i sack everybody that might not be the best for your own business it depends on your own case but from his own case because i took my time listening to him very very well and i said just Start does sack everybody. Let's start afresh with this key factor that I'm going to give to you guys now. From there, after this guy followed us and did the right thing, boom, the business skyrocketed again more than never before. Now we're going to be talking about staff management. One of the key factors that would staff management Number one before you hire, make sure it's someone you really need. You don't just hire every dick and harry that walks around the road. Once they tell you, sir, I want, I want, need a job. It's okay. Bring your CV. The next day, start job. It doesn't work like that. You don't hire anybody. You don't even hire for emotion. You don't even hire for pity. If you want to help someone, why not give them some cash? Give them some money and allow them. Let them help them that way. By bringing them in, giving them emotion or pity to your own detriment. Does this sound does this sound right to you? Higher because that person is exactly what that business needs at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Then the second point is hire people with experience. You see some business owners they will say, um, okay, we are hiring a teacher, mathematics teacher. We need someone with over 10 years experience. You just be like, ah, if you don't give me work, how won't they get the experience? Like that doesn't work like that doesn't work like that. You find out that someone with experience goes far in that business rather than a novice. Someone who is a novice takes time. Just like the, when I personally, there was a time I decided to hire anybody. Although the business didn't go down then, but what the only thing I noticed is that the person I hired doesn't have experience in that particular field. So it now took me two to three months of my time don't forget, I'm paying this, this uh, I'm paying this person's salary. I'm also training them. So that three months is a kind of is not productive to me within that three months. I'm trained, I'm trying to train her. Although at times if you get a good person at the end, you will enjoy it. Because the person I got, after that um, three months, this girl became machine. That she had to be my personal assistant by PA. That if I'm not around, so far she's there, I'm covered. I will not even I will, I will not even mind. I will just be like, ah, she can do it just like me. I can say it with my full chest that this ah, this person she can do it just like me. No problem. 
when 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 she got admission to leave the company, I was like, I felt it. You know, there are this kind of stuff that whenever you get, you feel it. Because I invested my time, I invested my knowledge, everything on this particular lady. That I it took me time, months, for me to build her. But after everything, I really enjoyed her. And when she was leaving the company, I was like crying. That's I was I wasn't happy because. Is, is, is something of great value that is leaving the company. She needed to go and move on with her studies. You get, right? So hire someone with experience is very important. It will help. You can only hire someone without experience and train them if you have time. But if you are somebody that don't have time, you need something that will, someone that will start impacting value on that business immediately. You need someone that has experience. The third one in staff management is don't hire someone with emotion. Hmm. Very, very critical. I made mention of this in the beginning of this video. Don't hire someone with emotions. I'll be like, oh, oh, she's my, oh, she's my babe. She's my, um, fiance sister. She's my, this, my, let me just employ, let me, she don't have anything doing. He don't have anything. Let me just help him to be at least doing something. Let me just help her to be doing something. How? Now she you the pity have been your business because that very soon another business will come the pity be that. Except the person is someone that is ready to learn or something. Don't most times in most cases, let me just put it that in most cases, don't hire with emotion. You will regret it. Go and mark my if you hire someone with emotion, you will definitely regret it. Then the fourth rule is engage in thorough interview. You see that way called thorough, thorough interview. Interview them hear from them know the impact they are going to bring what they are bringing to the table just even if you can do two or three interview fine thorough interview interview them very well before taking your final decision don't just hire like that i know of one of my ones you see oh no need of interview my friend just okay no problem tomorrow carry a system come come and resume work is that how you guys do it and you're complaining engage in thorough interview. last but not the least cv in hiring a staff cv shouldn't be the priority if you want to hire a staff you want to hire a good staff cv okay you've seen the cv because so many people they will just put jargons there things that they know and things they don't know you just be like look at it and you give the person work no cv shouldn't be the most important thing if you will see the cv yeah also sit with the person one on one. Ask them those their experience, their experience and qualifications based on what they have there in their CV. Then check it out before you now know how to go about it. Thank you so much for watching this video till this end. Staff management: How to hire a very good staff for your business is a very good topic. See you guys in the part two of this section. I'm going to bring part two of this section, which is going to be the bomb. I'm sure you don't want to miss it. So don't forget to click the start subscription button if you are new to this channel. Please like and share our video so that more people can benefit from this. Thank you so much till I get to you again. Merry Christmas in advance. I'll see you again, Roots.